Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. It was a busy day in the bonsai zone today. Let's go back in time to early this morning and I'll show you how my day went. It is early in the morning and I got the call that the gravel will be coming this morning. So I've moved the truck, the matrix, and the mica way down there out on the road and I've cleared the driveway. They'll be using a forklift to get the bags of pea gravel off the truck. So I'm hoping they can put them way back here, past my IBC containers and into this spot right over here. We had eight degrees Celsius last night, so I had the heat on in the greenhouse once again to keep the plants warm through the night. The Norfolk Island pine looks nice in the morning light. Really like that, that looks cool. I think the front view would be about here. Yeah, really cool. The truck has arrived, so he's just going to use the forklift and bring the bags to the backyard. That's a big forklift, very wide, holy. I guess you need something pretty big for that kind of tonnage. I'm standing well back here. Now, how far back can he get is the question. Whoa, that just fits. There we go. <laughs> wow, that just fits in the driveway. I didn't expect a forklift that wide. Wow. There's the first bag delivered. I think that's about three tons of pea gravel. Wow, that's a lot of wheelbarrow loads in there. My strategy for doing these top capper blocks, I'm going to do the four corners first, leveling those, like the pieces in the corner, and then I can use my aluminum straight edge there, my base of the greenhouse, run it across the corners to line up all the middle ones to get it nice and flat. I think that'll work pretty good. Here's a look at what the pea gravel looks like. That looks pretty good. Nice stuff. Kind of rounded, good texture. Yeah, I think that'll work really well. Here it comes. And right over here. he comes.
cool. This is how you lift it up, eh? Look at that. There it is. So it's about 10 o'clock in the morning now. And my wife asked me, are you going to put plastic down on the bottom? And we were thinking, if I put plastic down, it's going to catch water. Now, the landscape fabric might be okay because it might let the water through. But I'm thinking, because this is just clay down here, and I've got a good layer of gravel, that I don't think I'll get weeds growing up in the greenhouse anyway. So I'm just going to put the gravel down straight on top of the clay here. And I'm just going to build it. I still have to cement all these top plates top blocks in or slabs or whatever they are I've got to cement them in and I don't want to work in this muddy surface so I'm going to put a layer of gravel down inside and a layer of gravel down around the perimeter filling it up you know maybe halfway maybe three-quarters of the way that'll give me something nice to work on to do all the cement work or, or uh, mortar work around the perimeter before I start on that, I'm going to get all my succulents out of the greenhouse and on the benches because it looks like a grand day today and it's warming up just beautifully. I was wondering about putting down landscape fabric in the bottom and then the gravel on top. So I checked landscape fabric does let some moisture through. It's a tight knit weave fabric. And they say the holes aren't large enough to let weeds up through it, but it does let some water through. And I thought, ah, and I don't want it underneath here. I think it'll be fine. Uh, from what I read, they said three, three inches of gravel should be enough to stop weeds coming up. And they said, if you do get a patch of weeds, you just weed it. Uh, I think that'll work fine. Just shovel it out. So I'm just starting by filling in the perimeter around the foundation first, and then I'll start filling in the middle. I'll have to build some kind of a ramp system here so I can get the wheelbarrow in to fill up the center of the greenhouse.
All right, Zinn, we're gonna use the tamper. I hope I don't attract any sandworms. Well, it's now 12.30 in the afternoon. I have finished my first bag. It is empty. So this is the last load from the first bag. Yeah, so there's 3,000 pounds of pea gravel moved already. Let's go have a look at it. Here's a look at the gravel floor now. So it's not very full yet. I maybe used a little more gravel around the perimeter here than I expected, filling in the space between the original soil and what, what I dug out. But it's a good start. Um, I think after the first bag, it's a good excuse to go for lunch. And then I'll come back and the second bag will go totally in the middle and I'll see how high it comes. If I need to order more gravel, then I'll get another bag. It's uh, no problem doing that. We had a light rain just before lunch. So for lunch, my wife and I biked down to the lake and had a lunch at the boathouse lakeside patio. It was really nice. I had a nice vegetable sandwich. So the hard part is getting back to work, <laughs> but here I go. I'll be back. I told you I would be back. I'm down to my last wheelbarrow load of gravel. Just a partial load. So I'm short. I'm uh, still quite low for the level. So I think I'm going to need another cubic yard of pea gravel. Yeah, I don't know. I calculated it by volume here, but maybe all the, you know, I filled in all the sides here and all around the perimeter. And then when I, you know, kind of uh, made it angled in the other day, I probably took some of the volume out too. So I needed more more gravel. So anyway, I'll have to order another 
another cubic yard, but it's looking good. It's a lot of work. I'll get more pea gravel on order. In the meantime, I'll finish off the foundation. And that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <laughs>